Hey loves, welcome back to my channel and back to a brand new episode of Halloween Made Easy. If you have been here throughout the whole month of October, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you guys enough for being so supportive. I hope you guys are enjoying and loving all the crazy makeup Halloween looks that I've been giving you guys. Um, this week I'm doing something a little bit more subtle. I know last week I did um, a unicorn kind of look and I got a lot of response back and I know you guys really liked it. Um, but this week we're going to switch it up and we're going to do like an old school uh, 50s flapper look. So um, let me show you what I picked up from Amazon. This is the headpiece I picked up. I just thought it was beautiful. Um, isn't it so pretty, you guys? It has like this feather and this like diamond embroidery. And I actually didn't know it, but it came also with a beautiful like mask to wear if you want to go that route and maybe you don't want to do so much makeup. But I don't think I'm going to use the mask. I think I'm just going to do, um, do the headpiece and let me put it on for you guys. Let's... So I just put on the headpiece. It's really cute and really pretty, but I will say it is a little bit big. I kind of had to bobby pin, um, like stretch it out and bobby pin the pieces together so that it fit my head a little bit better. Um, my, I have like a tiny head, you guys. So um, basically this is the headpiece. I think it looks really cute. I really like it. I really like the look of it. If I were going out in this, in this flapper headpiece, it's very simple. The good thing about doing like a simple like flapper look is you can just use like a black cocktail dress or maybe maybe like a black mini dress that you already have. Put on this headpiece. If you want to wear the mask, you can definitely wear the mask. Put on a pair of pumps and you are good to go as long as you're you know, wearing a headpiece and you have your makeup done, it will basically look like you were totally prepared for the party, even though maybe you weren't. We we don't need to tell people you weren't. Okay, so um, first things first, I'm going to go off camera and do my foundation and my concealer. That way you guys don't have to watch like the whole process of it and we don't have you sitting here for a million years watching me do my makeup. So one second, I'm gonna hop off camera, do my foundation and my primer and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Just did my primer, my foundation and a little bit of conceal concealer. I'm going to do my brows next. Um, for my brows, I'm gonna be using the Top Tope Great Brows Kit from MAC. Um, if you guys haven't um, used it, this is how it looks. It just has like a highlighter, um, a lighter brown, a darker brown, and then it comes with little mini brushes to do your eyebrows. And honestly, I always have this stuff in my purse because it has like the perfect little like mirror here and it's perfect for traveling. Like if you're caught off guard and you realize you have to go somewhere and maybe your makeup isn't done, you can definitely just do your brows really quickly. And this is like the perfect thing to have because it fits like right in your purse. And how cute is this little eyebrow brush, you guys? I just think it's so adorable. So adorable, I love it. Um, so if you are going out for Halloween this year, I'm wondering if, if there's going to be so much activity this year for Halloween because it's on a Saturday, but I know like with COVID going around, like people don't really want to um, leave their houses or just really stinks because I feel like Halloween never really lands on a Saturday. And of course this year it did. That's 2020 for you. But if you have plans to go out, um, comment below like what you're doing. I think I'm just gonna stay in, honestly. I think I'm gonna stay in. I'll probably be at my house upstate, but I will probably just stay in and do like a um, movie theater kind of setup in my house. I like to like set up like movie night at my house. My husband really, really likes Halloween. So he loves everything scary. And even though I hate 
like scary stuff, I totally give him, you know, that day to kind of have fun. So I think I'll set up like a movie marathon, scary movie marathon, and I'll basically just keep my eyes closed the whole time <laughs> during all the scary scenes. But yeah, pop some popcorn. Maybe I'll vlog it for you guys, like my Halloween like movie night setup. And maybe I'll show you guys a couple popcorn recipes that I do. I love taking like melted chocolate and drizzling it over the top. Um, if that's something you guys would like, definitely comment it below. And I will definitely like do a vlog style kind of video for you guys. But yeah, that's it. We're not really going to go anywhere. I thought about like having like a small party. But honestly, no one comes to visit us upstate. So it's like, will they come for a party? Am I just wasting my time? So I didn't plan a party. But yeah, I'll just be enjoying my time upstate and relaxing, watching some scary movies in front of the fireplace. Next, I'm going to be adding, um, this is the Kylie Cosmetics uh, blush palette. This is the Candy K blush palette. And I really love this palette. This is like my favorite blush ever. Um, for this look, I'm gonna do like, I don't know, because I'm very mixed. Like I saw a lot of different um, things online for flappers and some of them had a ton of makeup on. Some of them were very light. Like they didn't have really a lot of makeup on. But I think if I wanna make this like more Halloween-y, I'll do like a dark smoky eye because it is Halloween. So I want it, I don't wanna be so boring, you know? So, okay, I have my blush on. I'm gonna dig into this highlighter here and just highlight my cheekbone area here. And here. And then my nose, bring it up. Cupid's bow here and down. Okay, so cute. So, next thing I'm going to do is jump into some eye eyelashes? No. Next thing I'm going to do is jump into eyeshadow. Um, I am going to be using my Smoky Eyes Color Eyeshadow Palette from BH Cosmetics. I've had this for so long, you guys. Um, but I don't think eyeshadow gets old or expires. I hope not. I've been using it. So lately, to do these tutorials, I've been using it. Um, so kind of, I kind of want to see where I'm going to go with this. I think I'm going to dip into this white as a base, like just bring that straight up to my brow. And you can see it's kind of like shiny, um, kind of like sparkly. I love that about this palette. Um, they have a lot of sparkly undertones in their, their eyeshadow palette, which I really love. I'm just bringing that up to my brow like so. Okay. Um, oh, also, for your hair, you can definitely do something like this or you could do like a side bun. I just decided to twist like the sides and leave this side out and do like a side ponytail because I just thought it would look cute. Um, but you could definitely do like a side bun if you have really thick, beautiful hair. I have kind of not thick hair, but you do a nice big bun. It would look so nice. It definitely reminds me of that. Or you can like curl your hair, which I thought about doing, but I was like, never mind. I don't have time for that. So I basically just left it straight, but you could definitely like do a side ponytail and do some curls and it will look very like Marilyn Monroe. Very cute. Okay. So I brought that white shade up to my eye. I think next I'm going to try to think like how would I do my makeup if I was styling like the whole outfit, which obviously I don't have a cocktail dress on now, but I think I would definitely do like a smoky eye. So I think I'm gonna dig into the 
darkest shade of gray here, this like charcoal gray, and do my crease. It almost looks blue, like the shade, right? It almost looks blue. It's cute, but it almost looks blue. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get trick or treaters at my house this state. This would be my the upstate. I'm. This would be my first time spending it actually upstate, um, because I go there on the weekends. Um, but like normally I'm in my apartment in Queens during Halloween because it just never lands on a Saturday. I'm not sure if there's going to be trick-or-treaters. There's like a little girl that lives across the street and, um, her parents like decorate the house and stuff. So I did pick up some candy, but I'm just not sure with everything going on if... People are gonna want to do that so I'm prepared though I'm ready for them okay so I really like this dark shade I think it looks really nice but not so dark um next I'm gonna go in with some of this light right here light gray here it looks blue on camera but it, it it's actually gray if I move it closer you can see um, and I'm just going to do my lid here. I'm not sure why these colors look so blue on camera, but they are gray, I swear. I haven't dressed up for Halloween in like years you guys because I just don't go out on Halloween um, when me and my husband first started dating we did one year we went to the parade in the city and it was like um, it was fun I, I dressed up like a scary clown because he was a scary clown and like basically everyone we went with we're scary clowns, all our friends. So it was like a whole crew of scary cl clowns walking around and it was, it was pretty cool. Okay, so that is my eyes. I feel like I need like a little bit more something. Hmm, like a little bit more of a deeper shade. Let me try this, like, I'm dipping into, like, this one, which is kind of like a funky gray looking. It's, like, kind of, yeah, see, that looks more of, like, what I want. It's a little bit better. I love that. Okay. So that is my eyes. I think I'm going to add a little bit of high, like liquid highlighter or crayon highlighter, whatever this is, to my crease here, just to kind of highlight the arch of my eyebrow. And I also want to drag um, some of that dark gray color underneath my uh, tear line. I'll use this the same one. And I'm going to go in with that funky gray color again. Let's see if it comes out. Oof. I love that. That looks so cute. All right. Um, next, I think I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm just using my Holy Grail uh, Better Than Sex Eyeliner by Too Faced. And I do have a mirror here. I'm not very great at doing my eyeliner. I think I've said it on a lot of videos. So I'm just going to face this way. Uh, one second. 
Okay, so I just did my eyeliner. I'm gonna do my mascara next. Um, and I'm just using my Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. You could definitely do false lashes for this look if you want. If you wanna do false lashes, you can definitely find some cute ones. I would recommend the Ardell Wispy Lashes. To me, they're like the most comfortable to wear when I feel like, you know, wearing lashes. And they last a really long time. The glue, the Ardell glue is really good. So I guess if I had to choose a lash to wear, I would probably pair this look with some Ardell Wispies. My cat has joined us, <laughs> Yoda. He always likes to have my attention, so I think he purposely goes like right behind me so that I can see him. Either that or he likes being on camera, I don't know. He's a little ham, possibly. Okay. All right. So that is my eyes, you guys. Um, I'm trying to think. I think I would do a red lip because that's real old school. Like Marilyn Monroe always wore red. Um, and I really always loved the way she, it made her, her look. But also, she's a blonde like me. So I think it'll complement the look. I think I'm going to use... Uh, one of these liquid drying um, matte um, lip stains by Sephora and this is like in a real red color red is always a nice bold color to go with um, especially on Halloween, I think. Oh, because this dry is matte, not that I'm mad at that, I do like matte drawing stuff. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this red in the middle to give my lips a little bit. of a pop a little bit more. And that is the finished look, you guys.